Hello everyone, hello and welcome, I am the Black Shadow, and I welcome you to something, well, something completely different to be honest, folks, um, of course, this is going to be Let's Play Grandia 2, of course this is a blind LP, and of course, as I have said many a time, I have absolutely no idea what to expect folks, I, I honestly don't, um, this is the first time in many, 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 many years I've ever touched a JRPG. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I know for a fact that a lot of you, I'm sure there's not many people watching this video that have actually ever played Grandia 2 either. Um, so, believe me, this is completely true when I say that you guys are going to be in the exact same boat as I am here. Um, I mean, we've, we've done games like, uh, like uh, GTA. Uh, like you know, with GTA 3 as a blind LP, but I sort of had an inkling what was going on. Games like Resident Evil Remake it was a blind LP, but you know I had a lot of Resident Evil knowledge to go on. This is completely new. This is uh, you couldn't I couldn't really stab much more in the dark. The only way it could be a bigger stab in the dark is if it was in a different language. Um, it might as well be, <laughs> to be honest, folks. Um, but uh, I am looking forward to this. I thank you for tuning in. Um, I know you guys probably have no idea what to expect. Either do I. Um, but uh, I welcome you uh, into the boat, um, courtesy of Black Shadow Incorporated, into the world of JRPGs. That is Grandia 2. Okay, that bit's merely that that bit's the same. All right, fair enough. Ah, better get comfy, get the popcorn, oh, everything like that. Ubisoft, oh, I remember you guys before you changed. These guys, game art. Must say, I've never heard of them before. So there we go. And this is the menu, uh, apparently. 97, 99, 2000, and 2002. Uh, pa the translation of this was in 2000. Huh, there you go. Well, I've got to switch to a new game, or I can load a game. No options. Because uh, all the options are in screen, folks. Uh, I'll let you guys know I have. But for the purposes of, um, uh, you know, sorting this out and, like, calibrating stuff, I still am. There we go. I'm still in the process of calibrating the sound a little bit, so that might change over the course of this. But I have gone into this, like, for the first few seconds, just to see what it looks like, just to help with that. So I'll press new game. Uh, I also, as well... I think it's completely fair game. I have looked actually at the the game manual. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, yes, I did just say that, folks. Game manual. Would you believe it, folks? Look, those are the days when when books existed. My God. Um, but yeah, I uh, yeah I did um, look into that and uh, probably need to turn that down a little bit. As I say we're still calibrating a bit, naturally. Um, but yeah, I have looked for that. I've had a look through just to try and get as much of a uh, a, a, an insight into the game as I possibly can. Um, yeah, which, as I said, I think that's fair. I, I don't think there's any problem with that, so... Well, so this is obviously a, a previous history of, of things, I guess, at a glance. Uh, all hell broke loose. For some reason, we've got uh, an evil dark hand and a mysterious light there. Stuff of folklore, as you can see. Yeah, the, the, uh, at first impressions, folks. The place is obviously quite sort of religious based, but it wouldn't be the first. I mean, look at uh, Final Fantasy X. That was very religious based, you know, quote unquote. So obviously a great battle in the sky or something. And as a result, all this happened. Great scars in the earth. It does actually talk about this in the book, folks. Um, great scars um, in the earth that have been left by uh, a great battle uh, between the uh, Granus, the God of Light, 
and Valma, the God of Darkness. Not the Lord of Darkness, that's the Undertaker, but the God of Darkness. The difference. And the result is that the world has got lots of scars and all sorts of things and, and chaos and everything. Naturally. Besides, what's a sto what, what, what's not what's a JRPG like without some mythical storyline in the background? You know, it's, you should get used to that, folks. Anyone that's been around JRPGs, I've been through one or two. No, uh, no surprises there. So here we are in some mysterious forest. Uh, here's the first taste of what the graphics are like for the game. Uh, there is actually a little bit of uh, voice um, uh, acting as well. First time as well for BS Inc. We've got uh, an RPG where there are actually some voices. Because of course Final Fantasy 6 and 8 don't. That uh, bridge doesn't look particularly stable. What in the hell is that? Meanwhile, on the other side of town... Got our intrepid explorer there. Some evil lizard so and so. I would, I, I would say what I was gonna say, but uh, I shouldn't really. The game is—it's actually officially it's an 11 plus game, so I'll try and avoid the profanities where possible. But you know, if if I don't manage it, then please don't fucking blame me, please. Oh. Oh well, that was easy. Of course, his friends aren't too pleased. Uh, there you go, I'm surrounded. He's Sky, he's all over. over and he just committed suicide. Oh. No, he... What? Is that bird? What is going on? Uh, uh, really? Is he's flying? Hang on to you a bird. Know, I cannot take much more of this. The bird talks. Can and fly, damn it! Whoa! The bird talks. What on earth? That's not happened before. And be a sink, a talking bird. Well, JRPGs. The the I suppose the rule of thumb is to expect the unexpected, and assume the most preposterous I of ideas. Finished the job, didn't I? I, I guess. Don't know where on earth he's landed. Oh, was he doing it for like, for them? I guess killing yes, those guys. Yes, in your own crude fashion. Here, take your money. Father, don't be rude. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't bother. I'm used to it. I won't have you speaking to his kind. Come, we're leaving. Last time I help you out, we'll be double next time. Douchebag. <laughs> yes, I cannot stand him. What a pompous fool. Oh my it's dirt. A <laughs> barrel of laughs. Well, well. Oh, you're dear. growing up, Ryudo. Oh my uh, god. If it weren't for work, I'd have nothing to do with that guy. But business is business. Oh dear, that bird is almost making me cry. She was a fine looking girl though. I don't oh, care what? for her or the kindness of strangers. And, and now we've got a talking bird who's scoping out the ladies. Oh, this is going to be a good LP. I'm looking forward to this. But yeah, our guy there, a Ryodo, he's, he's like, a, like a mercenary sort of thing. You know, people just hire him to do odd jobs, but it's not a uh, particularly well looked upon uh, looked upon uh, job. It's got a pretty bad reputation to it, apparently. What is it, Sky? Ryudo, looks like we have another job. We do. Makes you think that. What a piece of paper on a tray. Very inquisitive, young Sky. N now I'm talking to a talking hey, bird. Hey, not already. I'm still sore from that fall. No thanks to you. Ouch! Okay, okay! Sky, all right already! Yeah, I, w I wouldn't this anger him. Word, right? Oh, slight down delay there. Never mind, we'll ignore it. <sighs> it's 
says the Church of Grannis wants to hire you as a bodyguard. So, working for Grannis, huh? Now I really don't want to do it. A job's a job, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's what it means to be a geo-hound. Mercenary. So, the church wants to hire us as a bodyguard? A church? Why, why would a church need a bodyguard? Unusual. But as anyways, folks, with that conversation over done with, that brings us to the map and the world and everything else. So I suppose we better get ourselves a little bit uh, customized to familiarize what we're doing. I think, I don't know what that does yet. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, okay, so start button. Ah, this brings us to our status screen. Okay, so we've got a uh, so naturally an RPG. Um, there's the usual, you know, usual thing. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a status or anything. Ah, here we are. Yes, let's have a look at him. Level ten. Ten. That's high. What? Well, whatever happened to sort of starting at level what? It's level ten. Christ. <laughs> Well, um, I, I, I can work that, you know. No, no noobishness for me. Oh yeah, look, strength for 103. Wow, that's like that 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 just blows Final Fantasy out the water. Uh, we ain't got anything there. Some bits of equipment, swords and defenses, and bits and pieces like that. So that, that looks pretty good to me. Now what else we got? We got actual equipment. So yeah, so weapons, defenses, bandana helps you concentrate. Apparently, uh, leather leggings, uh, leather brace. Uh, that well, we don't have at the moment. No, I don't want to remove everything. I doubt we've got anything we can change either. No, apparently not. Uh, a couple items, bits and pieces. We've got a. Uh, these are the, there seem to be some potions there. 200, 400 health. Uh, Phoenix down. Uh, I'm probably going to end up using some Final Fantasy uh, terminology for the first couple of videos. Um, antidotes. Antidotes and antidotes. Nothing else. Okay. Um, obviously, that's stuff we don't know. We can't. I don't know if I'm going to get. Um, I'm not going to screw around with this part much. Um, I don't know what we're going to get in the way of. Uh, of um, what you call it? Uh, of tutorials. I really don't know. I've had, I said, I've had to look at the the book for some of it. Some of it I understand. Some of it I don't. So, oh wait. Well, let's say we are at, in the Wit Forest apparently, on the way to uh, somewhere. Apparently, it's actually a place called Carbo. It says that in the book as well. Um, can I zoom out the map? Don't know. You can use the D-pad. Um, you can also use the. Uh, Analog stick, which is what I will be doing. I don't know if you can um, uh, move around. I know you can move the camera. I don't know if you can zoom out or not. That'd be good. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's another. Um, that's another potion. That's pretty cool. Um, now, if you're wondering where the heck we've actually got to go, what you've got to do, you see the compass um, at the, the top right of the screen. You know, it, you've got like a, an arrow that sort of points in the direction you want to go. If you look at the green circle, if I move it over here so you see the background, as we moved closer to where we're going, you notice how the green circle um, actually gets smaller. That means we're getting closer to where we need to go, basically. Um, that's the idea. Uh, that looks interesting, but we can't go there at the moment. And as we move further away, it's bigger. So, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty standard. So I'm just having a bit of a wander. I do apologise. Uh, the random encounters as well. I, I I walked basically to where we're going. There doesn't seem to be random encounters per se in the, in the way we normally do. Um, the the battle system for those who have actually played. If anyone here has ever played Final Fantasy XII, stupid bird. Uh, if anyone's who's ever played Final Fantasy XII, the battle system is a it rings some bells with, with that. It seems a bit familiar with with that in the way that the battles start and battles actually occur. So. Oh, so we can cover. We can also save our game. Uh, well, we might as well save a game. First save of the LP. Be a good start. Yes, I have made space. Alright then, cool. Save successful. That's how awesome I am. We're already halfway to victory. 
come up here. I need to see if you can zoom out the camera. That would be that would be ideal if you can zoom out the camera. It's a same or just change it slightly. I'll have a look into that. We got a some kind of treasure chest. Blizzard charm. I have no idea what that is. I assume it's something to do with I don't know ice. Uh, where's that going to be? Accessories. Level five blizzard resistance. That sounds awfully awfully good. So basically, yeah, ice protection. So how do we equip that? And where would we equip it? Oh, I see. So I can have basically. So that would uh, reduce my defense a little bit, but I've got ice protection. You can see the five on the status bit there. Yeah, one of the elements. So, eh, I'll go with the uh, extra defense for now. I, I, I don't, I don't think we're going to run into stuff that's going to cast ridiculous amount of magic on us instantly. I'd be surprised. Oh, can't see uh, Ryoda there. There we go. We'll wander around. But very carefully because yeah, you see that little thing in front of us? This is how you get into fights. Against a pathetic looking spider. Now I am going to do one thing that I hope should do for blind LP. And the reason is is because I have no idea if this game ever gives a tutorial on the battle system. So I'm going to have a very quick one of what I've picked up. Now you've got this meter at the bottom right, there's various commands we can do here. You know, you can hit it, you can defend, try and run. Um, you know, bits and pieces. Uh, basically, the, you've got the, the bar on the bottom right, and basically, uh, all the, everything like you've got Ryoda there, and like whenever you take actions uh, against the, the mottled spider, piece of crap, you see how it moves gradually to the right. And even when I was moving toward it to attack, it still moved right, so now we hit. And you see, once uh, my guy there at the bottom, that gets to the comm, that means the command bit, so now time stops for me to uh, actually attack. Um, and then you don't actually attack until you get to the act bit. And once you do that, then you actually take the actual command. And you can see. Pretty simple. Awesome. And he dropped a leaf! If you wanna beat me. He dropped a leaf. Oh, oh that's quite cool. So pr pretty, pretty simple. You know, that is, as far as the pure basic, that is exactly it. Pretty, pretty simple looking. And he got a moment of invincibility, but he can't be attacked again. Ooh, that looks a very big. Hey! Now I'm getting ambushed by spiders. I get enough of that in my bathroom. So apparently, I ambushed it. God knows. One thing you can do, though, is you can uh, you use the standard combo attack. You've got this attack, the critical attack, and if you use it, watch what happens to um, the model spider's uh, um, movement here. You see it's going down to its command, watch it here, as I hit it, you see how it puts it back there? Yeah, critical delays its action, which is kind of cool, you can do that. It's like here, so now at this point it's coming to attack me, um, but I have got an action, so the best thing I should probably do, if I defend here, See, take virtually no damage. So it's just making good use of the um, of, of the uh, the battle system, basically. It's, it's, it's sort of Final Fantasy XII sort of crossbred with almost Final Fantasy X as well. For those of you who've played it, uh, I've decided to run away because that's obviously a good thing to do. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can't hit it as well. Attack! Who's going to hit first? Oh yeah! Victory is practice if you want to beat me. Not quite Cloud Strife, is it? But hey, we've only just started. And no, I won't be showing off these random battles because I, this may be a blind LP, but I still know I have to show off every battle in the game. Uh, some bits and pieces, some potions and some stuff. To Carbo Village, which is uh, apparently where this church is. According to my book, that's where the church is. So. Seems nice enough. Actually, seems quite a nice place. Don't don't like the colour on the doors though. Green. Ugh. Oh, okay. So apparently, there's there's no audio for this one. I guess it's only some of them. I would join you if I could. I wonder why I'm not put to leave. Oh, she's not allowed to leave. Huh. Your role is more important than ours. Yeah, she she has to be more important than you. You're pathetic. Ceremony. 
Are they having like some kind of like you know like some some festival going on maybe? Not real sure. I suppose in a world like this, the ceremony could be anything. <laughs> Bye. Try not to get killed on the way. Are those those? Those aren't the uh, guys from like the beginning when they were walking through the forest, weren't they? It's time for the service. You ought to return now. Huh. We've hired a. Oh, I, I see. Well, at least we know what we're doing. Go on, get out of here. Let's go back. Back into the abyss. No. Thank you for all your hard work. Who are you saying that to? Me? Huh? Probably none of our concern. I, I, I'm so tempted to try some of these voices. I'm so tempted. Are they collecting... Collecting... <laughs> There's enough! What do they do? Storm that, storm through the door and beat charity out of you. I send them off to a town outside the village to drive away evil spirits. Sounds important. Things are fine around here during the day, but when the sun goes down, all kinds of terrible monsters are about. Yeah, what about her? Yes, her. She's a songstress. She sings. She sings such pretty strong songs for us. So she. So she, because she sings, she stays in the village. Okay. I, I'm willing to go along with it here. Don't venture about at night. I, excuse me. I think I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Very strange. They will exorcise the devil at the tower outside the village. Let's see what they have to say at the church. Yeah, there seems to be no other way. <laughs> oh dear. The, the bird's talking to him now! And he's saying he thinks that's normal! What is this? North Silesia. I don't think I want to go. Is it through this way? Oh no, okay. Barrels, can I. Oh, I see, you can actually run into him, like, margin. That's kind of cool. Got an inn here, I suppose. Be better, book, um, better book a bed for the night, that'd be a good idea. Hello! Rest now, recover your strength. Okay. May you be blessed by Lord Granus. Why, thank you. I'll, I'll be sure to be blessed by him. Anyone, anything here at all, by the way? No? No? Okay, I I'm not here just to pillage you, please, uh, please don't think that. Uh, I, I don't pillage the village, unlike some people I know, I do not pillage the village. God, I'll never let him rip that down. We've got a store here. Buy some stuff, that always sounds like a plan. See what they got for sale. Someone with a top hat, I'll, I'll get to that later, I know what that's about actually. Look around, take your time. Let's see, okay, what have we got? We got 202 gold. And... They're a bit expensive. As are they. Oh, apparently I can actually buy that. Jewelry, a heavy stone. Okay. So I've, I can buy a stone, that sounds really good. Uh, oh, these seem pretty cheap. Paralysis, uh, eye drops, yeah, some of the old, um, the old stat statuses, confusion, poison, darkness, of course they're still here. I'll buy some of these. I'll buy five. Because that one's so good. Eh, uh, I'll buy two. Uh, mushroom cloud? Uh, 
Oh, this must be like items you can use in battle. And a goblin toadstool. Interesting. A f that's a fire mushroom. Where's Mario when you need him, eh? No, I'll buy one. You never know when you might need a fire mushroom. Let's go. No, I'm not going down that path. Anyway. So, uh, so we've got bits and pieces here. Uh, only ten? Well, that's pretty. Wow. So we've got a, we've got a grenade. Uh, wow, two hundred for that. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should have kept some money behind to buy like some equipment or something. But I mean, I could buy like a new weapon, but that's expensive. Come on. What about how to fight monsters? Ask that guy. Oh, I thought it was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a woman! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, don't get cocky just because you're a geo hound. Oh yeah, I know I have gone that fucking great. Oh, sorry. Is there something you want to know about combat? Okay, so we do have tutorials after all. I didn't get this far. So it's a tutorial topic. There it oh, so I I've been good with this, but I'll let the game do it anyways. Combo and critical. Combo is pretty ordinary attack, good for inflicting a lot of damage. Critical attack causes less damage to the combo, but it can cancel enemy attacks and delay their movements. Cancel means to halt an enemy attack or magic spells. Oh, I see. So if it's actually, yeah, because like I think if like if it's going to attack and use the combo, you do like some extra damage to it the counter. Um, but if it's moving to attack and use critical, it, like it cancels that attack, so they have to do another one. Yeah, oh, no, I'm doing alright. Uh, why not? I'll explain. Well, holy crap, we're getting into a fight with that man woman. No, we're getting a fight with a lizard? The Ormish Commando entered and uh, take effect in its turn by IP, or initiative points. And that's the gaze of bottom right I was telling you guys about. So, you the current status for the uh, action for each character. A by man's icon, which is the calm position, you get to command. When you get to act, you, the command takes effect. So basic attack combo, so we'll select it, hit it, like that. So we've done a lot of damage, but of course, you see it combines, yep, combination. So obviously now, he'll hit back. Ow, ow! That one is the critical attack. We all know what this does. Grow attack doesn't cause much damage to combo attack, but instead it can cut the enemy's IP or cancel its attack. So you see, been pushed back there. And it's been pushed back so much that we're actually going to beat it and get another attack in before it can. So this time we're going to do an actual cancel. So now we're going to do this because by the time we get to attack it, it will have moved to attack us. As you can see. At the end of the cancel, uh, yet to come out, the enemy's attack will be cancelled. Also cancel any moves and uh, magic. Successful cancel will go a long way towards the victory. And you see, long way back. Now deliver the finish with a combo. Oh yeah. Now you will die. You better practice if you want to beat me. Pretty simple. Gold experience points, long with skill coins. Oh. Special and magic coins. I'm guessing they're for upgrading purposes, I would assume. Is that about it? I might have another chance to explain about special coins and magic coins later. Because of the attack, there's effective on all enemies, so you should take advantage of it. There's no substitute for practice, so basically, kick ass and take names. Sounds like a plan to me, folks. I like it. Now, let's have a little wander down here. If, if, if RPGs have ever taught me anything, it's explore everything. Especially when you don't know what's going on. We've got like a little sort of central fountain. Why do these granite groupies feel the need to make everything so ridiculously huge? There's no time for gaping. You are on the clock, after all. <laughs> I'm gonna get a kick out of him. I'm gonna get such a kick out of Sky. Oh, is that anything to do with? No. No, damn. Can I go in? Or is this someone's house? 
I just walk. Oh, that's why I still get to walk in random people's houses. Wonderful. Hello. Oh, it's an old man. Ah, uh, you must be the Geo Hound. It's so good of you to come here and help us. Cramps. For future reference, no one thanks a Geo Hound. Everyone hates us. Well, well, I have been despised before, but never thanked. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. So there's someone that does appreciate our work. That's nice. Oh. Uh. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Anything? No, 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 no. Let's get out of here before we realise the mess I've just caused. Hey, I've never seen you before. You want to talk about old, to old granny? Um. Kind of rather not. Uh, well, I suppose I might as well for a bit of background reference. I suppose progress. We'll start with this. Long, long ago, the world was split in two. Sorry. The light and darkness fought, and a bit of war lasted for ages. But finally, Granis, the Lord of Light, defeated Valmar, the Devil of Darkness. Exhausted from the battle, Granis slept. Granis wanna know, but then how come the tale doesn't end with a happy ever after? Well, there wasn't one. Look at you, clever lad. Can't you see the misfortune left over from the battle? Yes. They can I I wanna know if I also incre increase the speed of the typescript. That's the only other thing I wonder. I say work in progress. Two moons in the heavens, the second one false. Misfortune it is an abomination. When the moon brings the darkness, then shall the abomination appear. Darkness and doom shall reign over all. So you tell me the moon is the sign of Valma. Wow, you've got a vice grip on the obvious. <laughs> and because I, I've got to get this, this is going to be... A, she, she, she's willing to tell us our fortune. i got I got to hear this. This should be good. It can't be. But it is! What could it possibly be? Your palm speaks of woman trouble. Oh, God. Yet it also speaks of a great love. I've never seen such a palm. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome palm, isn't it? Woman trouble and a great love. For Ryudo. <laughs> Check again. <laughs> Ouch. Woman trouble, love, not me. Not ever. He gets all the women he ever needs. I'm sure. I was a little kid there. I'll bother him. Yes. You don't bath and you drink the blood of the monsters. What? We bathe in the blood of our kill. <laughs> That's not the right answer. Oh, we got another house here. Can I? Where's the door? Door! There it is. Looks pretty similar to Carbo House number two, but oh well. A harvest of fruits and vegetables have been too good lately. I wonder if it's the same elsewhere. I have noticed others complaining of bad harvest as well. Oh no, not bad harvest. That sounds bad. <laughs> oh, relax. I'm sure you'll find enough. Check out this awful book, The Secret to a Long and Passionate Marriage. Every relationship needs stimul. Oh. A dull life will make your relationship dull too. Once in a while, a couple requires the fiery spice of love. I didn't think I would ever say that in a Let's Play video, but there you go. Oh, for heaven's sake, who writes this trash? Someone. Someone who should be taken out and shot. For the good of humanity, shot. houses I can pillage. Uh, I, I mean visit, sorry my bad. More books? No? Oh no, not no books this time. Just uh, some woman. You have some delicious jam. Ooh. Sounds pretty nice. No! You can't stand sweet! What is wrong with you? Sky pick him again. It does appear that they cannot. It does. It does not appear that they can harvest enough fruit to make this jam. Other carriers taught us how to plant and tend orchids. Oh, that's all right then. 
Well, good to know that someone's, uh, you know, looking after nature and everything. That's always good. Yeah, I'm aware this is Carbo, which I, I, that sort of, there's a bit of a giveaway in the fact of the, the house names. This sort of gives that away. Whoops. Didn't mean to kick that. The monsters from the Black Forest have begun, have lately begun to come out around the village. I fear that someday my wife or children might be attacked. Well, good thing I'm in town then. Or it takes a dense forest are to be the nesting grounds for monsters. Don't let the women and kids near. You hurt the man. Any more books? I just want to hear more about stupid books. Whoops. Those sisters going to be alright? Going off to that weird tower for an exorcism? <laughs> It's a bit strange on paper. The church girls are off to an exorcism! Some sort of supreme deity. Grand Sean does know how to dodge responsibility! <laughs> oh dear. Dear little Tessa and the others in the church work so hard so that you can live happily. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think uh, the Church of Granis um, is what um, sharpens my sword. But I don't really know. I'm still. Uh, I'm got an amateur. Right, okay, now I've got to figure out where the heck am I? What house is this? Oh, that's house two. I'm, I'm, I'm now confused. I don't know where I am! Oh, apparently now I do have to go into the end. Okay, then. Do I really have to do this? Fine. Can I save game? Well, I can save game, that's alright. Uh, always best to have more than one save file, especially for RPGs. I've learned that. My goodness me. Right. We're nearly done. Uh, I'll, I've got a couple more bits. I'll see if we can't go to this church and then I'll look at uh, ending our first video. The game obviously seems to want me to go into the inn to do something. I don't know what, I don't know why, but I'm not interested. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm going up here because I can. Some massive house here. Anything behind it? Because you never know. No, okay, fine. I like the Rubik, though. You're quite right. Well done. That's five points. Can you hear that, folks? St that's strange. Let's take a look. This is private property! I suppose it's never troubled any RPG uh, protagonist before, but hey. That is one cool looking church, actually. A church, if, if there were churches like that in real life, I'd want to be religious. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it in that sense. Please don't take it the wrong way. I didn't mean it in that sense. Bit, bit of banter here. That's that Elena fellow, isn't it? I should have known that I needed more practice. What's the matter? Is that all? Who said that? Take a guess. Well, wait, you don't know him. Don't mind me. Continue. Were you listening to my singing? Come on. No, he tense. was watching. You won't be able no, to it's not going at all. Who are you? I haven't seen you around. What are you doing here? Whoa, now. What am I doing here? You're the one who hired me. I hired you. I, I do not remember anything of the sort. You look awfully suspicious. Leave right now, or I'll scream. <laughs> scream! Are you for real? Oh, wait a sec. I bet no one told you. I think we're about to get some answers. Elena, is something the matter? Where do I know that voice from? Ah. 
Ah, you must be the Geohound, yes? We've been waiting for you. A G Geohound? Uh-oh. Hey, I'm Ryudo. This here's Sky. Quite a warm welcome for someone you're hiring. What? <laughs> Why are you being so rude? Elena, please excuse her. Allow me to apologize on her behalf. Elena, you must get ready to leave. Uh, yes, Father. I'm very sorry for interfering. Please excuse me. Very polite. Very, very polite. I suppose it's sort of, you know, the, the, the organization, I suppose, sort of makes that happen. If you know what I mean? Excuses in women are equally tiring. Ouch! <clears throat> uh, this is not the place. May I ask you to wait at the inn? I shall be along shortly. Oh, I see why the game wanted me to go there now. Alright then, Carius, uh, you got a deal. Please be patient. I intend to hire you, but there are details I must explain to the person you will be escorting. Yeah, what you have to explain. Do it and do it quickly. I don't like being kept waiting. Okay then. Sounds like a plan. I haven't agreed to anything yet. <laughs> and now he's arguing with a bird. Good. Hmm. Just two shabby candlesticks. There's not one thing of value here. Hold your tongue. Not very, it's not that's not very nice for you. You gotta admit that that's 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 not very nice. Well, I suppose then I suppose now we know why we gotta go to the inn. Sounds like a you know sounds reasonable. So apparently we gotta be uh, we're gonna be uh, looking after that uh, that lady there. Um, I can only guess that we're gonna be going to this tower for this exorcism. Oh, we did go in there. I couldn't remember if we did or not. So we get so we get to see an exorcism. I, I must admit, folks, I have never seen an exorcism before, so I, I, I'm not too sure quite what to expect. That's a new one to me. Right. Um, so what we're gonna do is now I am gonna save the game. I'm gonna try not to save the game too often. And um, we're gonna save the game. And that is where I believe I'm going to leave things, folks, for this very first video for uh, Let's Play Grandia 2. Um, like I say, not too sure what to expect here. I, 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 we are all in the same boat, folks, so don't worry. But uh, I have a feeling I'm going to. I'm going. I have a really, really good feeling I'm going to enjoy this game. I'm, I think well, I'm going to have a great laugh. And the great thing about not having a clue what to expect is I don't have to be serious about it. We can have. A, we can have a laugh. I'm going to enjoy this, folks. So, uh, next video, folks, uh, I can only assume we're going to be uh, following Elena and those other religious people um, over into the forest where we're going to witness an exorcism. Sounds pretty cool to me, folks. So, I'll uh, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you then. So, later.